I guess the tutorial didn't explain it, so I guess I'll explain it then. Those little symbols up here above people's heads. I mean, obviously, obviously, if you're smart enough, I guess you could probably figure out what that meant. Oh, look, we get more people. Soften them up with a few gun blasts. And we can finish them off. There we go, and like that. Obviously, if you're smart enough, you'll, you'll be able to figure out that, uh, when those little symbols appear, when those symbols appear above their heads, that means you can uh, go ahead and finish them off by doing the right combination of the Weaver mode. As in, if it, if it says swing down, they're usually on the ground when that happens. So you go up to them and you swing down on the Weaver mode, and you instantly kill them. Sometimes they'll be like dazed or whatever, and you can stab them, and uh, it's kind of stuff like that. And as you can see. Once again, we're out here for the third time already in like probably five minutes, I guess. But uh, we're out here for like the third time, and the stuff has to respawn already once again. And I'm just addicted to kill to just destroying everything in my way. It's just so fun because we get, you can use the sword to do it. You can bring out the sword anytime you want. You can also bring out the gun and. You can also bring out the gun anytime you want. And of course you can like look around with it and look out for Seraph Stars. We'll probably we'll probably be seeing one pretty soon, I guess. But when you don't need it, he'll just put it away, like that. It does that automatically, so you don't gotta worry about it. And um And you can even bring out the sword like like normally, like, like this. You can hold down the A button and start parrying like that, you can parry to that, go that. So you can do that, that's pretty cool. But you don't even need to bring a gun out to suit, you can just press the B button. And it'll just do like, do a quick, do a quick draw, just like that. Wow, I'm almost out of bullets, great. You can change targets by tapping the Z button. Hold Z to unlock. The town is ours. Yeah. Oh crap, he has a gun. Stab! Yeah, swing down! Wait, what? Oh, okay. I thought there was a third person there. I don't know why he didn't stab him. I guess I didn't do it right or something. Ooh, give me some more bullets. Thank you. I need some more bullets for my gun. The town is ours! Not for long, it isn't. A new law is in. Ooh, makeup. Make up Louie. I have no idea what that is. Vending machine! Oh crap, I should have saw that. No! You die. Thank you. There we go. Get rid of him. Where's the other guy at? Oh, there's only two people? Come on, you guys gotta, you guys gotta be throwing more people like more people than that at me. Then again, it is just the beginning of the game, so I guess they're trying to kind of win you into combat, because let me tell you, combat will get pretty intense later on. They don't really throw that many people at you, but they start introducing like more special people that specialize in different attacks and stuff. You really gotta memorize how to take care of. So when they have different people that can do different stuff to you in battle, it can get kind of hec kind of hectic pretty fast. Let me just kind of go ahead and check the surrounding area for this. Look at all this cool texture. I love this game. So well done. So smooth. It's just. This is so good looking. It's very, very nice. We got smoke up there. They didn't even need to put that in there, but they, they did. They did. They put the smoke in there, and it just looks really, really nice. And go ahead, cut that. Ooh. The jackals. Block that. All right. Yeah, I can't be beat. Why didn't I kill you instantly? Dead or alive. Alright. So obviously you get your payment like as soon as you do your mission. Oh. Hi dummy. <laughs> I love that. They have like little dummies around here that like you can like practice your swords you're slashing on. <laughs> and they just kinda of fall over. It's so cool. I don't know why they have that there. They just like, hey, sword techniques. Yay. Ooh, war safes and Lockers and stuff. I will take that. Can we have some of that? Destroy that. 
think you kind of like, oh, more gun ammunition. Sometimes you can just find uh, boxes of ammo, and it will have the symbol of the gun that ha that its ammo contains. So it'll be, it's pretty easy to identify what gun is, what box has what thing on it. All right, no, there's no, there's no uh, Seraph stars anywhere here for the moment. I could have sworn there was at least one in this area. Hmm. That's strange. I feel like I'm missing it. But at the same time, just taking a quick look around like this should be enough to tell you if there's one nearby or not. So yeah, that little green arrow on your mini-map tells you which way you should be going. There's really no reason to get lost. Well, you have defeated a powerful foe. Thank you. A life of wandering has not softened you much. Ha! <laughs> much. I am but a simple swordsman. But the Kusagari code binds even me. For this victory, I must teach you something new. Approach my forge. I love how how dramatic he's being. Approach my forge. And then he's like, he just shows you. So this is a place where you can buy new moves and upgrade your crap. Kusagari powers. We have katana upgrades, so there's nothing for Kusagari powers, but there's hidden strikes. This is really cool. And we have the Russ. Ooh, yeah, this is pretty, uh, I like this one. Long range forward stab attack. Yeah, this is what I was trying trying to do earlier when I rushed forward, but I haven't learned it yet, so it didn't really work. Accept this hidden technique. Yes, I will. That's for 6,000. You have purchased a new hidden strike. Now Gion will train you to use this new attack. Yes, thank you. Even though he hates it. He's like, I have to teach you this. So I kind of like that. He, he hates you, but the Kusagari code compels him. Oh, he did. I did something for him, so he has to do something for me. Combine two basic moves to trigger the rust. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, you mean just rusting and stab. Yeah, I know. I know how to do this. This is one of my favorite ones to do. It's, it's just so effective. You can do it from like a distance. You can knock enemies down with a rust and then finish them. Yeah, like you can do it from like really far back. Like if you're like right here, you can go, you can dash towards them and then stab them and then finish them off just like that. That's a great way to, uh, yeah, swing down finisher is a knockdown combo. That's a really good way of uh, getting, of uh, knocking down and killing enemies really fast. At least the uh, easy ones. Use a rust. With oh, come on. That's another thing. Let's see how far it can be. Yeah, see how far I was doing that? That's a really great way to... It's also a really great way to uh, close a distance from enemies. I'm gonna go over here and do it. The thing about tutorials, these tutorials in this game, is that while they're pretty helpful, the thing that kind of annoys me is that once you learn how to do something, it kind of makes you do it three more times. The, the same thing. They really want you to make sure that you get this... The, 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 ah, that you get these moves down. I kept stuttering over and over again. Great. Yeah. When you see the stab finish indicator, use the rust to finish enemies. Oh yeah, that's right. So now I explained to you that when you the little indicator above their heads it means you can kill them with a simple stab or a swing down. But if you if they see a little uh, for this for this type of uh, situation, if they have a little stab indicator, if you do your special move stab on them, you do a special move finisher on them. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of the same thing, but it still looks pretty cool. I think it looks actually more cooler on uh, actual enemies than it is the dummy. The Rust can also be a finisher. Congratulations. Thank you. Look, he was just sleeping. He doesn't care about me at all. <laughs> See, I know how to use my technique. Rust! Stupid old man. Look, he's still sleeping. Look at that. Stupid old man. Oh, I have to teach you this technique. Looks like I have no other option. And can I buy? I don't think I can buy anything else, can I? Nope, that's it. So yeah, money is used for a lot of stuff. So, oh look, man, new missing. We've got to help him. Oh, okay. I was waiting for there to be more, but like, we gotta help him. Oh, 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 okay, is that all? Alright. Oh, a fridge. Can I open up the fridge? No? Alright. 
I can't really take out my sword. Oh, can I? No, I can't take out my sword in buildings. I guess this is a no firing zone. Which is fine with my me, I guess. Oh my god, everything has respawned! I must destroy to get more items. Now, for now, we're doing like main quest because that's kind of how, because this is still like pretty much the beginning of the game, obviously. And what we're only getting right now is just main quest that we kind of have to do in order to progress the story along. But, uh, sooner, sooner or later, we're going to be starting getting quests, which I guess are more like side quests, I should be honest. And what's that going to be is that it's going to be like little side quests that you're going to come pretty much come along and you're going to be able to find them while walking around this, like walking around main areas and stuff. You're going to be able to find them and if you see them then you can go ahead and do them and get more money. That's basically what side quests are for. They're basically just to get you more money and to help you out and help you out just for buying new stuff. So they're not, so well obviously they're not required it's pretty much a good idea to try to do as many side quests as you can. Now I know some of them are really a pain to do. Like I know one of the side quests is to find posters around the area that you're walking around, and God dang, this is so they just hide those posters in stupid places. And it's like, ah, I want to do it, but I can't find it. And there you go, point of no return. I don't think we'll be coming back to this area. So I think that's good. Oh, I could have gone back and got some more. Uh, money from those vaults up top the building, but I think we're fine. I don't think anything's going to be too expensive right now. There will be later, because we'll be, we will be presented with more options and stuff that we will be needing a lot of money for. Free the Seraph. Alright, who's out here? Oh! Come on out, old man! We'll make it quick for you. No, we won't. Shut up, man. You don't know that. Hey. Hi, guys! Another piece of gory. There we go, swing down. So I love doing that. Nope. Oh, he didn't even hit me. Oh, I should have done my finish. I should have done a uh, strike kill. Nope. I love attacking them in their midair because they kind of go slow motion for you. Oh, look how far away he is. I can just go ahead and swing down, do it a uh, running uh, stab, and everything will be fine. Come on. There we go. Do a little bit of heavy attacks. Get them. Get their HP down. And finish them off with a gun. Why not? Ha! <laughs> right in the face. I love it. I love this game. So awesome. Ah, there it is. There's our first uh, Seraph Star. That's where it was. I remember now. As you can see, they kind of put them in random places. Like this one. Like the first one we encounter. Normally they're stationary, but I guess this one they. Thought it'd be funny to put it on a rotating uh, gas sign or whatever. So all I gotta do is suit it. No, suit it. Suit it. Thank you. Thank you. Sometimes if they're kind of far away, your bullets will like miss, and it's like what? Kind of like discouraging. Like oh, I can't believe I missed that. Oh, you're supposed to be a good sword, aren't you? Supposed to be a uh, good gunsman, also, dude. Kuzigari man. Lone swordsman, I guess. This guy is so cool. He has a mask and everything, but you can still kind of see his eyes, which is really, I don't know, it's kind of cool. Like, it's, he's still mysterious, but you at least you can see his eyes, and you can kind of see his, like, black hair and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Destroy these vending machines, because vending machines give you a lot of money. Look at that. Two vending machines give you 378. That's very nice of them. Phones. Trash. Everything has money. Yes, everything. Even this box has money in it. Has almost $60. Uh, is that it for this area? Looks like it. Now we can go inside and... Wait, what? Oh, right, we can't go that way. We have to go through here. Oh, yeah, because... Okay. I guess he locked the door, so we got to go around the back way. And, of course, cleverly disguise the loading screen. Very clever. Suit? Suit what? Oh, what, that? Oh, was that the first one we were supposed to see? I guess... That was the first one we were supposed to see. The one back there? We weren't supposed to see that, guys. I am so smart. But it's telling us to suit these. And we get money for them. I think we get $3,000 for each one of these suits. So $3,000, that's pretty good. 
pretty good for just shooting a random thing that you have to look for. And sometimes they are hidden pretty well, I remember. I do remember, I do remember they are hidden pretty well in some areas. So just make sure I'll try to look out for them as much as I can. And hopefully I'll be able to find most of them, if not all of them. I don't know. I don't know if I can find all of them because there's no indicator like there are three service stars left in this area. There, there's nothing like that. They're just, you know, they never tell you how much there are in the area or anything like that. So you just kind of have to hope that you're looking hard enough. Oh crap! Big Bill. So here's our first special enemy of the game. Bullets won't really do a lot to this guy, so what you have to do is kind of uh, learn what you just did and go around attacking from his back. Yeah, there we go. You don't want to attack me a few times and turn around and then hit him. Back up. There we go. Man, how much... This I forgot how weak this sword was. I'm used to doing a lot. Of oh crap. He, you can't really damage him from the front because he kind of has armor on. There we go. Go forward. Swing back. Nope. Oh, come on. I was. I pressed uh, back A. Oh, nice. Now we can... uh Stab! Oh, it's gone. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. He just thrust into his back. Oh, let me get the hammer. Oh. I wanted the hammer. I could probably do some massive damage with that. So yeah, that was our first enemy. Our first, uh... That was our first, uh... I guess I can't destroy those. That's our first, uh, special enemy that we've encountered. And they kind of take a lot to kill. Oh, I serve a star. Thank you. That's a pretty cool symbol. That's a pretty cool symbol up there. I don't know what that's supposed to be exactly. I'm not exactly sure. Lots of Japanese characters and all that stuff around here, so... Not really supposed to mint to know, I guess. Stab! There we go. Split them in half. Why not? Now we can enter here. <laughs> 